Hey y'all, I cannot believe it is getting close to Thanksgiving. So I need to get prepared. I need to get my menu. I need to get my recipes out and plan my grocery list because I don't want to go to the grocery store five times like I usually do on Thanksgiving because we're always forgetting something. I want it to be a stress-free Thanksgiving. And even though we all usually eat the same thing every year and I love all that stuff, but I thought I would add three more that you could bring to your Thanksgiving dinner. I've got an appetizer. I've got a side dish and a dessert, which is amazing. So I want it to be as stress-free as possible. And these are really easy recipes. And this video is a part of a collab. It's a Thanksgiving dinner collab hosted by my sweet friend Valerie at Valerie Hargett. I will have her channel link down below in the description box. And I'll also have the playlist. There are some great ladies in this collab and you're going to get some great recipes. So I'll have all that information down below and I'll also have all the recipes linked down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we'll start on the appetizer. These are gonna be spinach balls, really easy to put together. I've got some spinach here that I drained really well with some paper towels. I've got some stuffing mix. I've got three eggs. I've got some Parmesan cheese. I've got a stick of butter that exploded in my microwave. Hopefully I have enough. And also I'm gonna take that spinach and mix it with some onions and some spices. I will have the recipe link down below in the description box and I'm using half the recipe. And I'm just going to combine everything in a bowl and mix it up really good. And these are going to go on a sheet tray. I got some parchment paper there with some butter so they won't stick. And I'm just going to roll these into balls and stick them on that sheet tray. They are going to cook in the, or they're going to bake in the oven at about, for 18 to 20 minutes at 350 degrees. So they were kind of difficult to put into balls because they were a little bit wet, but I got it finally. And these turned out amazing. They did cook a little bit more than I wanted to, but we ate these up in a hurry. These were delicious, so I highly recommend this recipe. And now we're going to move on to a side dish. And this is just going to be some roasted Parmesan vegetables. You can use any kind of vegetables you have on hand. And I'm just going to put them on a sheet tray lined with some parchment paper. This would be really delicious with some potatoes or some broccoli, I think. I made the potatoes and they were delicious. And I cut those Brussels sprouts in half and made kind of some planks out of those carrots. And I'm going to make a mixture of Parmesan cheese, butter, and garlic. And I will layer that on top of the parchment paper. I think next time I will not use the parchment paper because I don't think they got as crisp with the parchment paper. So next time I'll just lay it straight on the sheet tray. And also I'm going to lay these vegetables on top of this cheese mixture. But I didn't get them spread far apart. So I think that's why they didn't get browned in the middle. They did on the edges but not in the middle. But... I baked these in the oven for about 20 minutes and they were delicious. Even though the edges did get crispy, the next time I will just maybe spread them out a little bit more. But these were delicious. Even my grandson loved them and he's not the biggest vegetable person. So we really enjoyed that recipe. And I saved the best for last. This is one of the best recipes, easy and delicious with uh, apples. And this is going to be an apple crisp cookie. And I've got five apples that I peeled and I cut them into small chunks. I added a fourth of a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. And I'm going to mix that together and you're going to heat this mixture up until the apples get soft and the mixture gets thickened up. And it made my house smell amazing. And you take one pie crust. I think I did it wrong and I didn't I didn't layer just a little disc down I made them like a pie but they were so good so if you wanted to make them into pies it's it's really easy to do but I think next time I'll try the little disc and just put a little bit of of the pie crust down all right I'll start on my crumble I have some cold unsalted butter diced I'm using some rolled oats some salt some light brown sugar regular sugar and some flour and I'm just going to mix that together. I did start off using a fork but you could use a, a pastry cutter and eventually I just used my hands and mixed it up together but it will, you just want it into some fine crumbs 
and then I'm ready to assemble my cookies or my pies even though they turned out more like pies and I'll take my apple pie mixture and I'll just put one tablespoon of that into the into the crusts and then you'll take two tablespoons of that crumble and put it on top the recipe says that she sprayed them with cooking spray but I didn't need to do that I just baked them in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes and they came out amazing I mean these were some of the most delicious cookies or pies that I've ever had and it came together in no time all right y'all this is a 10 out of 10 you have got to try this this was amazing more like mini apple pies than cookies but so delicious you've got to try it I cannot wait to try it with some vanilla ice cream and I want to thank Valerie for hosting. I really love her and her channel, and I know you will too. And I will have her channel linked down below as well as the playlist. So make sure you watch her video. Go like and subscribe to her channel and watch all the videos in the playlist. So I will have all the recipes linked down below in the description box, and especially this one. You've got to try it. So I hope y'all have a wonderful holiday, and I'll see y'all in the next video.